Well, I think some of the most interesting things around mobile learning are around the possibility of connecting learning um, virtual information with physical spaces. So the question, the idea that we're living in a, in, a, in a mixed reality where we're able to overlay onto the physical space all sorts of new information, new networks as well. It's not just about access to knowledge, it's about access to other people. So it allows you to kind of, if you like, embed... Um, information and knowledge in real spaces that allows you to ask new questions. It's not about simply being able to carry your learning or your information with you. It's about allowing us to rethink where learning happens. Um, it allows us to get out of the school. It allows us to see communities and cities as spaces uh, for learning. Um, it takes me back to the uh, to the book The Child in the City by Colin Ward, and I don't know how many of you have read it, but we really ought to rediscover that book. It's fantastic because it's about reclaiming public Public space for young people and I think that's what's exciting about mobile learning. So if you look at some of the alternative reality gaming, if you look at some of the um, really interesting work being done by people like Blast Theory or the Mixed Reality Lab, um, who are developing weird installations and games that um, allow you to see your space very differently and your interactions in public space very differently. You know, let's go and see what the artists are doing rather than just looking at what's going on in schools. People are beginning to realise that what we're assessing isn't necessarily what we want children to be learning. So I think there's a big relaxation potentially in how we teach and learn. So it does open up a lot of possibilities, but we need to be very careful because we have been here before. So the question is, what are the big fundamental changes, the sort of underpinning changes that we need in our education system? It's not just about the mobile technologies. It's not just about the technology, frankly. It's about what are the big changes in adult-child relationships and relationships between school and community that we need to see developing in order to make the most of the tools and resources that are coming out to really help children to learn better and in different ways.